welcome students yesterday we discussed about reflection of light part 1 so in that part 1 what was our conclusion without light we are unable to see any object which is around us so reflection of light helps us to find out objects which are around us so let us do one completed in that last session now we are going to discuss about let us do two so in that some activities we are going to discuss let us do two and three we are going to discuss today so our lesson name today is third a reflection of light a reflection of light okay so what is our topic today let us do two let us do two let us do two let us do two what is given in that let us do two here the pathway of light we want to find out so that uh, reflected ray or incident ray that we are going to discuss in this uh, particular session so here take a mirror strip one of the piece of the mirror and black paper as shown in figure 2a in our textbook what is given here one of the mirror strip okay this is mirror what is it mirror strip a piece of mirror then you have to take black paper so in our textbook showed as like this so upon the mirror strip we have to cover okay right like this we have to cover the mirror with the black paper now this is the mirror strip with the black paper okay this is we are going to find here the mirror particularly once you see there is a space this is the space we can now why we are doing this one cover mirror strip with the black paper and cut 1 cm wide a slit in the black paper as shown in figure 2a this is a figure 2a so here the mirror strip appears this is 1 cm or 1 mm whatever so this is figure 2a we are going to find then what happened here shown in figure 2b 2a and 2b 2b what here 2a empty mirror strip this is 2b so here i am going to show this one this is 2a this is 2b this is 2b so first we need to go mirror strip later on the mirror strip cover with the black paper this is a 2b so 2a and 2b we are going to find out here then hold the mirror strip with the slit facing to the sunlight to show as shown in figure 2c you will see some light focusing through the slit let this light fall on a sheet of paper spread on the ground spread on the ground so what we want to do here this one we want to focus to go to the sunlight 
So the light pour on this mirror strip and it should pour on the ground. We have to focus. So we have to, for example here this red color is mirror. This is the remaining wall if you feel as a black. If we focus toward to the sunlight, the light fall on this and it reflected to the ground. So here sunlight pour on that mirror strip where the empty place here appearing inside the black that is mirror strip light falls on that mirror and it reflected to the ground this is the thing it is what is the picture here this is we have to think to see this image we can find in the 2c so then what happened here light comes from such a slit or any other small hole looks like a ray of light a ray of light so this is the light which is coming from it is called ray of light or pathway of light so it is coming from the sun the light fall on the mirror strip from that it fall on the ground so this pathway is called ray of light then what happened here we shall use the mirror strip covered with the slit of black paper in the following experiment so we can use the same mirror strip to the following activity so what is the let us do to here what we are discussing just we took one of the mirror strip then we took uh, black paper so this is 2a black paper is 2b so the 2b means here what is the cover covered with that uh, mirror strip then we make a hole in the middle of that so we can find a little piece of the mirror through that uh, black paper that is called the strip of the mirror if you focus that uh, strip of the mirror toward to the sunlight light falls on that place and it reflected toward to the ground so this is 2c 2a 2b and the reflection is 2c that we done in this let us do 2 now we are going to discuss about let us do 3 so now we are going to discuss about let us do third one so in this third one, we have to take this to be the covered black paper covered the mirror strip that we want to use in that. Let us do three. So here the pathway of light or light ray of light we found in that. Let us do two. Let us observe how the light reflects. So now in this third one let us do three in this one we are going to find how the light reflects how the light reflects what we want to do here so take a plain white sheet figure three which is given for example it is a sheet of paper white sheet okay paper sheet paper sheet we are taking so what we want to do here you have to keep the mirror strip paper on the white paper it should focus facing toward to the light it should facing toward to the light so this is 2b this is b 2b we took here in this third activity let us do three then what we are doing so the light that mirror strip facing toward to the light so when the light fall on this mirror strip and it reflect toward to the white sheet whatever the ray of light is there this is the ray of light here we can see it is the source of the light from the source of the light light fall on the mirror 
So here two rays we are observing. So what what we are going to conclude in this activity? So here this. Did you see any other ray of light apart from one from the mirror strip on the paper? Yes, here we observe one of the pathway of light or ray of light on the paper. Yes, we have observed. We have observed here. So here, what we are? This effects of mirror strip on the ray of light is called reflection. The ray of light falling on mirror is called incident ray. Then, and the ray returning from it is called reflected ray. See here, from the light source, from the light source. So from here, whatever the light which passes and it fall on the mirror, this is called incident ray from the light source whatever the light what is that ray it is incident incident ray so this is from the light source so for example if you take torch and you can focus the light to go to the mirror so that ray is called incident ray it is called reflected ray reflected it is called a reflected ray. So, in this activity means, let us do three, what we are going to know. Here two rays of light we can find. One light ray uh, coming from the light source and it falls on the mirror. So, from the light source, whatever the light falls on the mirror, that ray is called incident ray. So, from the mirror surface, to go to the paper, that ray is called a reflected ray. So here, these are the two rays we can find in this, let us do three. It is incident ray and it is a reflected ray. So in this, let us do two, this is a conclusion. We can find the two types of ray of lights, one is incident ray and the second one is a reflected ray. Incident ray coming from the light source and it falls on the objects are it falls on the mirror so here we took mirror so it will fall on the mirror from the mirror it reflected to to go to the sheet or it falls somewhere so here we took a sheet so that's what the, the ray falls on the sheet so that is called a reflected ray so incident ray and reflected ray so incident ray fall uh, light falls on the object so that reflected ray reaches to our eye we are able to find uh, the objects the previous one, what did we discuss? Let us do one. Without light, we can't see. So from the sunlight, whatever the light fall on the object, that is incident. So from the object, whatever the light reaches to our eye, we are able to see that object. So that is a reflected ray. So incident ray and reflected ray, two rays are there. With the help of incident ray and reflected ray, we are able to find the object. So that only we can prove with this mirror stick. In this, let us do activity. So let us do three tells us about the incident ray and the reflected ray. So what is given here? Now in the ne next session we are going to discuss about the law of reflections. Law of reflections. In this session we discussed only ray of light. There are two types of ray of lights. One is incident ray. The second one is a reflected ray. So here we can write what is incident ray and what is reflected ray. How can you show that incident ray and reflected ray means with the, with the help of this diagram we can write the answers.